Are you ready to create an online course but have no idea where to start? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to create an online course that sells, even if you're just a beginner. And if you stay until the end, I'm gonna give you my signature course program template. It's the exact template that my clients use to package their expertise into online courses that sell. So let's dive right in. What is the first step to create an online course? The first step is to pre-sell the course before it's even created. Now, why do we do this? Because we need to prove that there's actually demand for this course that you wanna create. What I don't want you to do, and a mistake that many coaches make, is they spend weeks or months developing this course that nobody wants. So before you even invest a second of your time in creating the course, you first want to pre-sell the course. And there's a simple process for doing that. So let's say that you have a online course that teaches people how to improve their gut. It's a gut health course. Well, you wanna reach out to people in your network who already know, like, and trust you and do market research interviews with them. It is a great way for you to understand the frustrations, the fears, the wants, the aspirations, the problems that your ideal clients are facing so that you can create this course and make it as valuable as possible to somebody like them. Not only do you get valuable market research, but you get interest from your network. Some of these people may be interested and may be your first customers in your course. And uh, if not, you can get referrals from this. So the first key to selling or pre-selling your online course is to conduct market research interviews. Now, if you feel like you have nobody in your network who fits your avatar, who is in your niche or would benefit from your course, then of course you've gotta create traffic and get leads outside of your network. And that comes down to social media. So the next step, after you do the market research interviews or if you don't have people to do those with, then you've gotta build the content online through traffic, sending people to a landing page so that they download a lead magnet and then they go to some sort of conversion event. It could be a webinar that sells their course or it could be a sales call if you're just starting. Now, what is the second step? So step number one, again, is pre-sell the course before it's created. Step number two is to map out your step-by-step -step process using the 4P system. Now, what is the 4P system? And I don't just say 4Ps because my name is Peter, but the 4Ps are this. P number one is person. Who is the specific person that this course is for? Number two is what is the specific problem that you're solving? And third, what is the tangible, measurable promise that you're making? And finally, what is the step-by-step -step process to get them from the problem that they're in to the promise or the paradise that they wanna be in? That's the way you think about structuring your course. Act as if you're an engineer or act as if you're a detective. You're basically reverse engineering the step-by-step -step process to go from where this person is when they start to where they wanna be at the end. And again, if you haven't coached anyone before, then know that you're creating a hypothesis here. You're doing your best guess effort, or your best guess on what you feel would be the step-by-step -step process. And that's why, again, we pre-sell the course before we create it, because you're gonna be delivering it live in the next step. So the third step to creating an online course that sells is to deliver it live. Once you've pre-sold it, and once you've thought about and structured the process as best you possibly can, then you deliver it live. You see, when I started coaching coaches and doing business coaching many years ago, I didn't have Fearless Coach Academy like I have today, right? Today, we've helped thousands of coaches you know, start and scale their business to six figures and beyond, and we've done really, really good at that. But when I started, I started with a live course. And it was a six week course and I delivered one training each week and it was a group coaching call. That's how you wanna start creating the first version, the MVP, the minimum viable product of your course. Because again, if you go spend months building this course and nobody wants it, then you've just wasted months of your life and you don't wanna do that. So you deliver it live. Let's say it's a six week course or an eight week course or a 12 week course. You decide on what you feel would be the best time frame. I recommend somewhere between six to 12 weeks. And the reason is that window of time is long enough to create a significant transformation and it's short enough to keep people highly motivated and accountable, okay? So you deliver it live, you do one group coaching call a week and you record those calls and those recordings become the first version 
of your course. Now I know it's not beautifully produced, you don't have like the perfect lighting and the great scripts and all that stuff, but listen, the, the, the goal here is to get in the game, all right? We wanna get in the game with the first version. You can always re-record it and make it better for the next version. So what is step number four? There's two more steps left. Step number four is during those live calls that you're doing each week with your course clients, you wanna deliver, or you wanna um, deliver, answer frequently asked questions. So let's say that you are doing a 60 minute call once a week, 45 minutes of that call, about 80%, 75% is you teaching the material of the course. But the last 15 to 20% of the call, the last 15 minutes, you're doing Q and A. And why is that important? Because number one, you are learning what is landing with your clients, what their, what their uh, takeaways are, what their breakthroughs are, but you're also learning the things that you missed in what you were teaching. And this is critical. If you haven't been a seasoned coach and you haven't worked with hundreds of clients over many years, then you probably have some holes in your process. And that's not uncommon, it's nothing to be ashamed of, but the beauty of this first version of the course is that you get to unpack and shine a light on some of those missing blind spots by those questions from clients that are unanswered. And so every call you're getting Q&A where you're now identifying, oh, I missed this one thing that I needed to teach, or I wasn't totally clear on this, and I can clarify this for the next version. And that's gonna up-level over time version number two of your course. It's absolutely critical. And not only does that help you in the course creation, but it helps your students and your clients because they're getting direct coaching from you. What a beautiful benefit for them to be a part of your pilot program. So that's step number four is to answer frequently asked questions. And of course, step number five, and this should be the final step of every coaching relationship that you have, is to collect success stories. You wanna build a library of success stories, of social proof, of testimonials, of clients who've gotten tremendous value from your courses and from your coaching. And the best way to do that is to do case study interviews. Uh, in fact, um, I've got a bunch of them on my channel. If you wanna check them out, I'll share with you how to get access to them in a moment. But those are going to increase the perceived value of your coaching. In the beginning, when you launch your course, Nobody's been through it, right? And so when you launch it, uh, guess what? You have no social proof. But the next version and the version after that and the version after that, you're gonna start building this library of success stories. So instead of charging $500 a course, now you can charge 1,000 or 1,500 or $2,000. Why? Because the proof is there and people believe it. So that's step number five of creating an online course that sells even if you're just a beginner. Now, I wanna share with you a story about a client of mine named Don, because Don is a law of attraction coach. And law of attraction is an incredible thing to teach, um, and some people think it's a hard thing to sell, but when we taught her this process, when I shared with her the signature course outline that you're gonna get in just a second, she generated $27,000 in the first 30 days of launching her course. If you wanna hear her story so you understand exactly the strategies that you implemented, you can click this video up here and watch this video to hear her story. It's tremendously valuable. Now, the last thing I wanted to fulfill on, which was my promise in the beginning, is the signature course outline template that I promised you. Uh, it's the exact template that all of our clients use to package their expertise into an online course that sells. If you want that as a gift from me to you, then just comment template below this video and my team will take a look at it, they'll reply to the comment, and they'll send you the link so that you can download it absolutely for free. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, my request is very simple. Number one, like the video. Number two, subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a future video. And number three, check out my next video, which is called the three best coaching business models. It's gonna teach you exactly how to get paid as a coach and the three best models. A course is just one of the models, but there's two other models that you absolutely do not wanna ignore if you want to be a highly paid course creator and coach. So go ahead and check the video out. Now, my name is Peter Scott reminding you to be here, act now, and fear less.